the New Media Institute is essentially a program that is just a, a neat opportunity to bring in some students from abroad, from a culture very different from ours, to teach them, for some of them, citizen journalism skills, and for some of them to sort of hone their, um, their skills and abilities as journalists. It's a way to explore the ways that um, new media, mostly social media like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, all the, all the new technological advances, how they can be used in this changing media environment. We had five countries represented, Nepal, Sri Lanka, India, and Bangladesh, and then we had our U.S. students. I mean, they're the same age, maybe a couple years older. So you really saw that five mix of nationalities with wildly different ethnicities, wildly different religious experiences. We, we really had to find shared experiences among our differences. I think our goals here at Gaylord were, were to bring the students in and really expose them to the bleeding edge sort of ideas about what new media is. Our primary tool at the Institute was the uh, Apple iPad 2. We felt like that really symbolized kind of what you know, new media is. It was a great leveler. So, you know, if you had a student who really knew how to shoot high-end video, you know, they were with this new device, with new things that they had to learn how to do, just like the person who's never touched a camera in their life. You know? So they were all on the same page learning together. Back in my country, I didn't have a smartphone, so iPad was a really, totally new experience for me. I'm not a techno-savvy person. I was not a techno-savvy person. I'm using the past tense here because since uh, all through, through these uh, 17 or 18 days, I think I'm getting used to with it a bit, and my confidence level is getting higher and higher. You could tell from like the first couple of days to that third and fourth day that they'd made big big jumps and I'm pretty sure they just took it home and just played with it and, and had a lot of fun with them, like really figuring out exactly how it all worked. Yeah. <laughs> it aided, aided us a lot in this um, video making and capturing photographs, making sure that we were out there giving information when it was needed and ASAP and in this age of, you know, quick journalism and backpack journalism and citizen journalism, it's like a very powerful tool and it makes sure that you get your news out there right now. Try to start familiarizing yourself with how to collect media content and try to make it do things it doesn't seem like it should do either, except drop it. <laughs> these students from these countries, they see the opportunities of what journalism can be, what it can do, because, you know, depending on their circumstances in their countries, you know, they've had a very level of openness and freedom of the press. You know, there's probably a handful of apps out there that they could use and kind of aggregate information and become an expert on that whole situation where in the world these things are happening. Where right next to them, someone with a, another iPad 2 could have a whole different bundled kind of, so it's almost like they could kind of construct their own unique sort of journalistic news gathering distribution platform to suit whatever editorial goals they had. The real challenge for them is to go back and try to persevere in continuing on with this experiment in social media and new media and journalism when they're all on their own. We have to establish a particular kind of uh, a genre where people will be informed, people will get information through the latest means of uh, communication, latest means of uh, technology. I'm going to make uh, maximum use of what I've learned here. If they can get that point where they truly believe that they have a voice and to, to kind of share that voice with others, you know, we, we've made an A grade. Uh, I made some small documentaries about the drug addiction in our, my country in Bangladesh. Most of the drug addicts in my country are teenagers and the, most of the Facebook users are also teenagers. So I can make short documentaries and put them on Facebook. I can avert them about drug addicts, about if teasing other stuffs. So I think that I can uh, contribute a little to the society. For them to really learn what new media is about and what role it can play in democracy for citizens, they have to realize it's them. It's only them. Very important for a country like mine to make the people informed about the things going on. I think the amount of confidence that the teachers and faculty show in the students is just marvelous and it's really encouraging for me as a student. We have to keep that confidence in us. We have to keep that faith. Something provokes me from inside. Go Yas, go, you can do it. Go Yas, go, you can do it. <laughs>